Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil and it's Junior back here with Clever News. And Taylor Swift is giving fans even more insight into the inspiration behind her album's title track, Lover. And uh, you may want to get the tissues ready for this one. So we've basically gotten to witness Taylor Swift and her boyfriend Joe Alwyn's love story unfold right before our very eyes. But as any Swifty knows, Taylor has never been one to disclose exactly who she sings her fairy tale esque songs about. She released her seventh studio album, Lover, back in 2019, which was a complete polar opposite vibe from her previous Reputation album. Naturally, fans knew that Taylor, you know, was feeling something much different than ever before. But now Taylor is opening up about the inspiration behind the album's title track, Lover, about two lovers who fall in love and start a life together with their own traditions and memories. After Lover made it onto the 10 songs I wish I'd written list at the 2020 Nashville Songwriter Awards, Taylor went into detail about how she came about writing the heartfelt song, explaining that the inspiration came from, quote, two people choosing to spend their life together and making their own traditions. Although she stands true to her previous ways by not actually name dropping her boyfriend, Joe Alwyn, of almost four years, Taylor also referenced her past heartbreak from failed relationships and how your person chooses you regardless of the pain you've endured in the past. Taylor has previously admitted that her favorite line in the song is the bridge, which reads, Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? With every guitar string scar on my hand, I take this magnetic force of a man to be my lover. I really wanted the bridge to sound like when people write their own vows and they kind of change certain traditional parts of the vows to fit them or their relationship. She also confirmed what many Swifties had assumed in that guitar string scars doesn't just mean that her hands are battered from strumming an acoustic guitar. Obviously, like I have a lot of guitar string scars on my hands from tuning and changing strings over the years, but um, there's also the symbolic part of it, which is like, you know, I've written a lot of breakup songs and songs about letdowns and bad times and stuff. So you kind of would hope that if somebody's going to choose you, they're going to choose you along with all the things that have hurt you in the past and all the damage. And and if you're going to choose someone, you're going to do the same for them. All right, quick courtesy check in just to make sure that your tears aren't consuming your eyes yet. And if you've already gone through a box of tissues, feel free to pause and grab some more. Taylor continued to detail the concept of the song, explaining that it's about two people who are learning to live together for the first time, realizing you can make your own traditions, stay up as late as you want, keep the Christmas lights up as long as you want, you can let your friends stay over if the night goes on too long, because this is your life and your family that you are choosing. Seriously, I was not prepared for all this emotion on a Tuesday, but Taylor also shared that she feels it's a beautiful thing when people choose to spend their life together. And that the song is a quote, celebration of taking that very adult step of living with someone and deciding this is the path forward for you, walking alongside somebody else. As many fans know, Taylor previously spoke out about the song back in 2019 during NPR Music's Tiny Desk concert series saying, quote, there's a song that I wrote on the album that I knew as soon as I wrote it, it was going to be the title track. She added that this song magically came to her, quote, just middle of the night. I'm like in my PJ stumbling to the piano as I got this idea and the song just happened really quickly. Based on Lover and the rest of the songs on the album, this time around is clearly different and we love to see Taylor on cloud nine in her happiest state. But to find out why Taylor's music was recently criticized, click right over here for another clever video and then let me know your thoughts on Taylor's inspiration behind Lover down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever. Bye guys.